October and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we are sitting down with our favorite health and wellness expert to talk about early detection and prevention. This segment is sponsored by Passion Fit. Rena, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now, is this the most common form of cancer among women? Yes, you're right. According to the American Cancer Society, breast cancer is the most common form for women, and one in eight women could be at risk for getting uh, breast cancer in their lifetime. And it is so startling how many women are diagnosed. I mean, I think all of us have been touched by someone who's been impacted by this. So there's a lot of factors that go in it, ranging from genetics to even your diet, but what are the things we can control in trying to prevent this? Um, yes, while family history, genetics, age, gender do play a factor, and I think for a lot of people that can make them feel scared and fearful, um, there are plenty of things that we can control and there are lifestyle factors to take into consideration. So we can start with exercise being the first one. Um, when you are exercising, getting cardiovascular activity, strength training, and flexibility 30 minutes a day most days of the week, that could actually cut your risk by 10 to 20 percent. Um, so it is important to really um, prioritize that because I think a lot of people don't realize how much exercise can help prevent breast cancer if you do it consistently. And on top of exercise, of course your diet impacts your overall health in many ways. What are you researching and seeing when it comes to how diet impacts breast cancer? It can affect your immune system, your hormone levels, your insulin levels, right? So if you're focused on plant-based foods and nutrient-dense foods, Foods, that's going to really help in terms of preventative um, you know, actions that you can take. Focusing on things like organic fruits and vegetables, um, whole grains like brown rice and quinoa, monosaturated healthy fats like olive oils and avocado. Um, you, know, you can even eat healthy um, proteins like fish and eggs and lentils and beans as well. And your weight also comes into play when it comes to a diagnosis. Absolutely. Weight is really important to manage not just for breast cancer for, but for many diseases in life, right? Um, but if you are looking at things like your BMI, your body mass index, your body fat percentage, your actual weight on the scale, just having access to that data is really important. I know some people can develop different emotional mixed feelings to weight, but I think if you look at weight as a tool to help you to stay healthy and to prevent against breast cancer, that's just going to be you know, more beneficial for you. So pay attention to those numbers and then make adjustments as you need to with your doctor involved. All right, let's talk about detection. Of course, self-examination at home and programs with doctors. What do you think about mammograms and what is the latest research? Yeah, so the latest re research is that for any woman at the age of 40 and over should be getting mammograms annually. So make sure to talk to your doctor. They may have you do it sooner even or later depending on your family history, but 40 is the, the main age that people are now starting to get their mammograms. Um, it's also important to do self checks every month as well. Okay, and of course as technology has evolved, mammograms aren't as uncomfortable as they once were so there's nothing to be scared of make sure you talk to your doctors about that any other tips when it comes to our lifestyle or things within our control yeah so things like smoking and alcohol obviously those are things to pay attention to smoking especially for premenopausal women can really put them at risk for breast cancer according to breastcancer.org um, and then for postmenopausal women secondhand smoke can even put you at risk so ideally avoiding smoking altogether and minimizing your alcohol consumption because that also comes into play as well. So just being responsible, still living your life, um, but really thinking about how you can be preventative in those activities that you partake in. Mm -hmm. And that includes vaping too. A lot of people think just cigarette smoke, vaping, very yes. dangerous as well. Let's talk Absolutely. about your online boutique because this is a beautiful pink yoga mat and I just love it because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and this is one of the newest yes. items available. It is, yes. It's one of the newest items on the Passion Fit online boutique. Um, you know, we have yoga pants, we have tank tops, we have hoodies, hats, tote bags. I know. Well, Rena, thank you. You know, she is on the show so much. I feel like you should be on the payroll at this point. <laughs> we always love having you in studio. If you want more health information, from Marina, just head to thelocalistsd.com and you can catch up on other segments we've done. Thank you so much, Ashley. This segment is sponsored by Passion Fit.